This year marks the 100th anniversary of the Disney Company and the year-long celebration officially begins today with a series of new experiences and attractions. Travel Zoo senior editor Gabe Saglier is live at Disneyland with a look at what's new. Good morning, Gabe. Hey there, good morning from, in fact, the happiest place on earth here in Anaheim, California. It is Disneyland, and you are right, this is the 100th anniversary of, uh, of Disney. It started back in 1923 when Walt and Roy Disney founded what was then known as the Disney Brothers Cartoon Studio. Now, of course, we know it as the most prolific and famous entertainment brand uh, in the world. And today... Uh, launches a year-long celebration with a whole bunch of new attractions and experiences here at Disneyland Resort. So tell me about some of those attractions because I know I'm excited to hear what these are all about. What can you tell me? Yeah, so my favorite, I got to experience this a couple of times yesterday, uh, is a brand new ride. It's uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, inspired by those Emmy Award winning Mickey Mouse uh, cartoon shorts. Uh, very popular at our, at our house and uh, very immersive. It begins uh, by, by actually uh, watching a, a sort of a world premiere of a brand new short called A Perfect Picnic. And within moments, you are thrust into the cartoon world yourself. With Goofy at uh, the controls, uh, you are in the midst of a zany, unpredictable train ride uh, which brings this cartoon world uh, to life amazing uh, visuals amazing music this is by the way the first time that Mickey and Minnie star in their very first uh, in their very own ride through attraction here at Disneyland so that's a first and for those of you who like to seek out these hidden Mickeys this ride has more hidden Mickeys than any attraction at any Disney park uh, in the world and what's actually quite cool is that there's no you're not waiting in a physical line for this ride a couple of times during the day they open up a virtual queue that you access through the Disneyland app. Uh, and then when it's your turn, you just show up uh, and enjoy this fantastic ride. So that is uh, something I, I did twice yesterday. Uh, fantastic. I want to bring my, my friend uh, Marcy in here, who's a Hi. cast member here at uh, Disneyland. Oh, great. Um, what we also saw yesterday, Marcy, was uh, Wondrous Journeys. Yes. There's a fantastic light show that takes place in part against beautiful Sleeping Beauty Castle. Yes, absolutely. So in part, because it takes place all over the Disneyland park. Yeah. So one of my favorite places to watch it is the castle. We'll come right back to that. But one of the biggest facades is over by uh, Small World yes, right. because you have a bigger canvas. That is exactly what it is. It's pretty much putting the artist story into a canvas because it's all the projections of all 62 films Amazing. that have been created by the Walt Disney Studios. Yeah. So you can see some of your favorites and snippets and everywhere you see it, you can kind of see a different adventure. Over on Main Street USA, you can also, and you're surrounded by it so much that you become engulfed and you become part of the story. Yeah. One of my favorite moments on Main Street is when all 100 one Dalmatians are all on the side of the facades and you really feel like you're you're running right with yeah. them you're like I'm one of the one Dalmatians well That's I was one of my I, favorites. I got to watch the, the premiere of this last night yeah. uh, had front row view here and it's actually very emotional uh, and you're right all of those films from Peter Pan to mm -hmm. uh, Princess and the Frog from Cinderella mm -hmm. to Moana and everything in between at some moment uh, uh, you know pop up on you know against the facade of these uh, iconic uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, landmark locations here uh, and there is an emotional response when you're w watching these uh, come to life it's Definitely. One of my favorite moments also right here at Sleeping Beauty's Castle, you can see one of my favorite fairies because we're all about the magic. Yeah, but yeah. when the blue fairy yeah. decides to fly over the castle, you just can't help but bring it back to when it's like that wish yeah. your heart makes. Yeah, <laughs> and it's, it's that moment on there. We all have our heroes. So one of our other favorite heroes that actually likes to fly over, Baymax. Yeah, How can you yeah, not love that's Baymax? True. And that moment is not only power, like emotional, but it's powerful yeah. because it gives you a sense of what I can do. And that's exactly what the artists that are, were telling their wondrous journey of what yeah. it is to be an artist from the initial idea of when they created the story to the processes that they go through and layering those things and filtering stuff out. So they are their own really telling yeah. their own story. Well, so I'll tell we, you everything. You. You're right. All right, Marcy, thank you so yes, much. Uh, you painted a beautiful picture <laughs> of uh, Wondrous Journeys, which again uh, uh, launches uh, to the public uh, today. Uh, there's the food, there's the merchandise, uh, and uh, the Magic Happens Parade, which came to a stop in March of 2020, mm -hmm. uh, returns uh, next month uh, on February 24th. So. Well. Come well, on you guys, down to Disneyland. I was going to say, are you, yeah. are, can I come down right now and be with you guys? <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah, Mickey's waiting for you. Uh, <laughs> the the, yeah, the parade that's about to start, so we're just going to await your I'll arrival, and it's, uh, and it's happening here. So, I'll uh, be there, absolutely. D, uh, uh, Disney 100, uh, a whole bunch of great info. Oh, well, thank you so much, Gabe and Marcy. Thank you for helping us out. So exciting. To learn more, all you have to do is head over to Disney 100th Anniversary page, or you can head right to our website, roadshow.com.
year-long celebration with a whole bunch of new attractions.